All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to some more Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. This guy's wanting us to replace, repair all broken parts, perform chip tuning minimum 20%. He tried to tune the chimp on his own, and he's afraid that his car is useless now. There is no power, a horrible noise, and I've probably damaged some parts somewhere. All right. Let's start off with the electronic stuff, because that's generally what tends to get all destroyed. But I seriously doubt it's going to be that simple, because if I remember right, this dude's given us $6,000 to repair his car. Alright, I can already see an ignition module. Um, both ignition modules are bad. Alright, let's jump into this here. His spark plugs are bad as well. Let me go into my inventory really quick and sell off all my old exhaust from that last job. There we go. Okay, so we need an ignition module. All new spark plugs. We also need an airflow meter. All those spark plugs as well. And this ignition module. Just like that. Starter is actually good. That's actually good. Let's check his timing real quick while we're here. Yep, this guy's got some timing problems. His entire timing system needs to be done as well. Alright, so... Another serpentine belt, another timing belt. We need a belt tensioner and an idler pulley. Let's see if any of this can be repaired. Airflow meter can. Okay, so we repaired the airflow meter. Right off the bat, we know we need a belt tensioner. We also need an idler pulley. We also need a serpentine belt and a timing belt. We also need two ignition modules, one and two. We need a serpentine belt for a V6. We need a timing belt for a V6 as well. We also need one, two, three, four, five, six spark plugs. And a timing belt for a V6. Okay. Start putting all this back together again. Okay, so there's that. There's that one. 
There's his belt. New tensioner. Serpentine belt. Okay, all that's put back together and nice and clean like. There's one spark plug. There's two. And three. Ignition module. And the wires. And his airflow meter. Ah, turn around. I can't see things from here. There's that. I'm gonna check his oil just to be safe. Yeah, he's okay. Okay, we'll put the cover back on. So that should be, unless he's got some other issues going on here. Nope, now we just gotta do chip tuning. He wants a minimum of 20%. Okay, so we're gonna raise this one. Let's go negative there, negative there. There we go. That should be good. That one is all set. Proceed to the new work order. We're just plugging right along here, aren't we? As long as we don't have to do any more exhaust for a while. Renovate the engine. This engine is well used. I owe it a complete renovation. Remember to change the oil. Uh, okay. All right, so changing the oil he's wanting right off the bat. So let's check his filter. Yep, filter is bad. Let's go ahead and tear into this here. Let's take this off. Let's go ahead and take this off. Let's exit out of this. Let's clean our inventory really quick. You guys know the drill. I hate mixing old parts with stuff that I'm currently working with. I know it's stupid, but I just, I have to get all this stuff out of here. It bothers me. Okay, so we know we need a new battery. We know we can repair this airflow meter. Go ahead and take this off and check his air filter.
air filter is bad. Let's go ahead and remove that. Let's go ahead and take these uh, wires off because those are bad. Let's go ahead and take the filter out. That's bad. Replace his plugs. Okay, and then we'll come over here. Manifold is okay. Serpentine belt needs changed. Timing belt needs changed. Idler pulley is okay. Belt tensioner is bad. Water pump is okay. So, <clears throat> we need a belt tensioner. Go ahead and drain the oil really quick because that's what he wanted. There we go. And we'll go ahead and drop this down. While that's lowering, we already know that we need a new air filter. We also know that we need a new oil filter. We also know that we need uh, spark plugs. And we need a belt tensioner. We also need a timing and a serpentine belt. Serpentine belt. And a timing belt. Let's see, is there anything else I'm missing here? I'm trying to think. Oh, a battery. Yep, we're gonna need a battery, if I remember right. Yep, let's go buy a battery. Okay, let's put it all back together. There's your air filter. There's your air filter cover. There's your car battery. We need to come over here and fix his airflow meter. Put his airflow tube back on. Put the spark plugs in. Put his wires back on. Oh, we needed ignition wires. Brand new ignition wires. Here is your new oil filter. And then over here, we had some timing stuff that we replaced. Just like that. And then we needed to put some oil in. Okay, let's go ahead and check the stick. 
Sticks looking nice. Go ahead and put your oil cap back on. Put your engine plastic cover back on. And there you go. Have a wonderful day. Now get the hell out of my shop. <laughs> We're trying to get through these work orders. We're slammed. Replace or repair all damaged parts. I clipped the curb pretty hard yesterday. I think something around the wheel is damaged. Around the wheels. Okay. Well, you guys know the drill. Time for a test drive. He's only given us 800 bucks for this job, so it can't be something major. Gosh, we're probably gonna have to run it through the suspension test as well. No, maybe not. He's got an outer tie rod problem here. And an inner tie rod problem. So we need an outer and an inner tie rod. Inner tie rod. And an outer tie rod. It can't be just that. There's got to be more to it. They're going to throw me a freaking curveball. It's going to be something like a suspension or... There's no way that it's this easy. There's no way. Yeah, I didn't think so never that easy he's probably gonna have some suspension problems guarantee you that's what it's gonna be on this side here I really should just run the test and just uh wonder if we can inspect some of this here No, because we're probably going to have to take all of that off. All right, let's just put the wheel on. Let's go run the test like we should have done. Okay, brakes are good. It's gonna be this front suspension.
didn't really see a big problem with the front suspension there. That's what's kind of weird. At least enough to throw up any red flags. But I guess this will be the, the moment of truth. Ah, all right. So we got a bad bushing as well here. And a suspension arm front left. Got that repaired. We'll just go buy a bushing. Just like that, just like that. Slap this bushing in there, just like that. Off to the next one, number 70 guys. Almost there. Replace gearbox and clutch set. <clears throat> Replace axles, mount new starter. Wow. He wants to completely replace his whole drivetrain, huh? Well, let's go ahead and raise this beast up. Oh, we're going to have to take apart the, uh, that box right there so I have to drop it back down and take the wheels off yeah I'm gonna take it for a test drive I just don't feel comfortable just guessing on everything we're gonna take it for a quick test drive so we can see exactly what he's wanting us to replace I've made this mistake before where we've tried to just guess things and it didn't turn out well Okay, drive test is complete. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this tire off because we're going to have to pull these axles as well. So that's off. Now we get to come up here. We'll dive into the back of this bad boy. He wanted his uh, starter repaired as well, so we'll go ahead and do that. And his gearbox. Go ahead and take this off. There's his uh, clutch pressure plate. Clutch release bearing is bad as well.
And the clutch friction plate. See what of this we can repair. Gearbox. And the starter. Okay, so we know we're going to need the axle. The drive axle left and the drive axle right. We also need a clutch release bearing, clutch release plate, and a clutch friction plate. We'll spin around this way. Go ahead and chuck in his... Uh, Brand new clutch friction plate, new clutch pressure plate, his release bearing, his newly repaired gearbox. I don't know, I think that they could have added in some stuff to get into the actual engine block. You know, like maybe changing out pistons and you know, stuff like that to kind of add a little bit of variety to it. I think that would have been kind of cool. Okay, go ahead and put a starter on. Alright, everything else is accessed from the wheels. There we go. Okay, that should just about do it. That is all she wrote. Man, we're raking in the bucks, that's for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed some more Car Mechanic Simulator. We'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, everybody.